Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the tropics. And so I hope that you're all having a great start to the day thus far. And so in this video, we'll be taking a look at what is currently happening across the region. So there is an increased chance of rainfall for some areas. And uh, we're also going to be talking about that expected cool down across parts of the region as we're going to be heading into early next week. And so before before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on what is happening. And so returning to this imagery here, we can definitely see that there is quite a bit of activity going on in parts of the southeastern Caribbean as we see uh, some activity within the vicinity of the Windward Islands. And so a lot of cloud cover there and then inevitably there is going to be some rainfall across some areas. So there's a pretty good chance of rainfall for majority of the Windward Islands as we head throughout today as a result of all of that activity. Uh, uh, it is moving towards the northeast coming from south america and so going a bit more to the west uh in the vicinity of jamaica we see a bit of activity as well some uh shower and thunderstorm activity offshore but nothing too intense right now and uh for the most part the western caribbean is vacant of any major activity so major rainfall or any major thunderstorm activity is not really anticipated and so let's go ahead ahead and now take a look at what is expected as we're going to be heading into tomorrow so we're looking at the gfs simulated infrared satellite so this is what could happen as we progress into the next 24 hours and we see here that uh, the model is expecting that lingering activity to gradually dissipate as we progress throughout uh, the rest of today and heading into tomorrow so this is not going to be or not expected to be very persistent within the region okay guys and so next up we're going to be taking a look at uh, what is expected in terms of this global tropics hazard outlook map here so uh, it's a forecast of what could happen and we see the different colors that indicate uh, different conditions for example we have the greens that show above average rainfall the darker the green gets the higher that chance same scenario with that below average rainfall probability as well as those above average temperatures probability and below average temperatures probability so we're looking at week two here so as we're going to be heading into the middle of february between the 8th which is tomorrow and uh, the 14th so within that week we're seeing that in parts of the caribbean uh the northeastern caribbean specifically we have those greens indicating that there is some chance of above average rainfall within this time span and also for parts of northern south america so this includes brazil as well as suriname and french guiana so those areas could possibly experience above average rainfall as they're going to be heading into that week so between the 8th and 14th of february and as for the rest of the world you're definitely seeing where a lot is going on of course now over in the western pacific and also in the indian ocean is where we have activity taking place right now so that is the time of year for them but over here in the north atlantic of course we don't have to worry about tropical cyclones at least not anytime soon so that is what is anticipated for that and then finally let's go ahead and talk about that cool down so a few changes have been noticed especially with the gfs models so we're going to be looking at three models in this video and uh seeing what they're anticipating as of their latest update and so we're looking first at the gfs of course and if you're not too keen with this map here the cooler colors those blues go into the darker blue shades and purples indicate below average temperatures or below normal temperatures and to the right side of your screen is the different shades of color with values beside them so that is to show how much above or below normal temperatures are and of course the below normal temperatures have a minus sign in front of them so let's go ahead and take a look at what the gfs is expecting and we're seeing here that the model is definitely showing that massive cool air making its way down from the u.s and uh impacting areas 
and impacting northern Central America as well as Cuba, the Bahamas, Florida, but we're not really seeing where it's going to be making its way as far as Jamaica. So uh, the change in that wind direction will certainly be possible, maybe just some cool air uh, here and there, but GFS is not expecting that this is going to be uh, impacting Jamaica or other parts of the Caribbean. So it's, it's basically showing that this is going to be dissipating, all that cold air is going to be dissipating in no time. However, as for the Euro model, let's go ahead and see what Euro is anticipating. And we're seeing here that the model is certainly expecting that cool air to linger for some time across the Caribbean. We see Cuba, the Bahamas, Jamaica, Hispaniola even being in below normal temperatures so it might not be a very major temperature drop but most certainly for early next week headed to monday maybe early tuesday uh, that is going to be the time when these cool temperatures are felt in jamaica according to the euro but of course an earlier time by saturday going to sunday for the yucatan cuba and even for parts of the cayman islands too maybe late sunday heading to early monday and then next is the CMC. So this model here is expecting that uh, we're not going to see too much or feel uh, too much of that cool air infiltrating the normal temperature, but rather just uh, making its way into the parts of the northwestern Caribbean. Uh, some spots of cooler conditions here and there, but nothing intense uh, expected from that front as it is going to be making its way by. So that is what the CMC is expected, a little bit closer to the GFS than Euro. Only time will tell what is going to eventually happen, guys, but even though some areas such as Jamaica might be out of all that very cool weather that is expected other areas are certainly expected to feel those uh, below normal temperatures including cuba and also mexico and so guys that is what is happening and what is expected as we're going to be heading uh throughout the rest of today for some regions again that increased chance of rainfall across parts of the southeast caribbean and then in terms of next week early next week uh that cool air is going to be making its way down from the u.s and impacting parts of the northwestern caribbean but of course there is no certainty in terms of the extent of those very cool conditions but it is very likely that uh, areas such as cuba and again uh, parts of mexico and even other parts of central america as well could feel those below normal temperatures so that is really it for right now guys and of course i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share thoughts there and of course remember to always be otherwise and have a wonderful rest of the day